Hey guys, it's Julie Spencer again, authorjuliespencer.com if you want to connect with me on social media. Um, in the first video, I kind of introduced myself and told a little bit about where I'm from and um, like to talk about my books now. So um, if you ask me how many books that I have written, I, I don't think I can tell you that. There are quite a few, probably in the 30, 20, 25 to 30 books range. If you ask me how many books I've published, that's another difficult one because if you count all the um, the anthologies that I've been a part of and the um, science journals that I have, I'll tell you about those in a little while, uh, and then all the fiction books and some of my fiction books, um, like if you combine them into one, then I've got a, a like a box set of the books um, or just a, a big complete collection. I'll tell you guys about those in a little while. I think I've got approximately 18, 15 to 18 items for purchase that are just books within Amazon. And then I also have eight of my books are uh, made into, into audio books. And I'm actually gonna tell you about one of them that, that um, my favorite book that I actually recommend uh, listening on audiobook rather than uh, reading it because there are a lot of bonus materials on the audiobook because it was just published. I have two more books that are in the process of being narrated right now. Uh, in fact, one of them probably will be done in the next couple of weeks. So I'm excited to tell you about that. Um, but we're going to start with um, back in junior high, I wrote my very first book and it was terrible. But uh, my friends loved it. So I would scribble it down in a spiral notebook as fast as I could. And then the uh, I would tear the pages out. Of course, I numbered them so that you could keep track of them. I would tear the pages out and I would just hand them to the person beside me. And they would all pass them around. I have no idea how I passed seventh grade. Um, if anybody still has any contact with the junior high teachers from back when I was a young um, kid, that if... If anybody knows of any junior high teachers in Flushing, Michigan, um, you can see if they remember that. I know some of my actual friends still remember that. Uh, and I, I would love to know if the teachers realized what they were doing, um, why they didn't put a stop to that. But apparently anything that gets kids reading and writing is probably a good thing. So apparently they did not put a stop to it, um, but it was constantly during class. I, I was writing during class. Anyway, here's the admission that I'm completely embarrassed to say that I did. At the end of seventh grade, I threw my manuscript away. I can't believe I did that. It was very junior highish, and I didn't want anything junior highish laying around, and so I threw it away. Uh, why do I wouldn't give back for what I wouldn't give to have that manuscript back now? Uh, oh well. Anyway, so I did not write any more fiction for a really long time, and I, um, you know, I graduated high school, became a mom, and went to college. And I actually went to college straight through for my undergrad and then my master's program. So. Within an eight year time span, I started college. Um, I was already a mom at the time I started college. I th think that my daughter was four, three and a half, four years old, my oldest daughter. So during that time, I got divorced, remarried, had two more children, and eight years later, I had, um, I had a master's, master's degree, master's in science. Now, I'm only gonna talk science for a couple minutes, but I have to, I have to at least mention this because this is the first book that I actually published, and this is my master's thesis. So, um, this is called GIS Approach to Identifying Areas for Preservation in the Chippewa River Watershed. If you have any idea what I meant by that, drop me a comment and tell me that you don't think that I'm completely crazy. That is a really cool topic that back in 2004, it was kind of cutting edge. There were a couple other people that were doing similar studies, um, but it was pretty cutting edge. Nowadays, we use this technique like anytime we're doing any watershed management planning, which I currently work for the Gratiot Conservation District and we, we do some of that. So I'm actually using my thesis. So it is for the degree of Masters of Science at Central Michigan University, Julie L. Spencer, 2004. This is my most expensive book that I ever published, and it's um, beautiful. And other than um, giving birth to my three children, this is probably the um, the thing that I created that, that I'm most proud of. Okay, so um, 
we're done with the science stuff for a few minutes. Oh, I wanted to show you some of the cool maps that are involved in this. So you will have no idea what those mean, but that was kind of something that was involved in that. So fast forward um, a few years after college, uh, I, <laughs> I got involved with reading Twilight. Now, yes, I am a Twilight addict. I absolutely love Twilight. I read the entire series at least 20 times. I'm going to show you my, my box, Ugh, my, my collection of books. So this is my Twilight series. You can see that my original paperback version is Seen Better Days. The rest of them, I learned my lesson and bought them in hardback. Uh, Stephanie Meyer, if you ever watch this video, which you probably won't, you are still my hero, and I still love your books. In fact, I'm reading the original Twilight right now in French, <laughs> which is kind of cool to read one of my favorite books in a different language. So, studied French for a number of years, and, and I'm not very good at it, but I'm hoping by the time I watch, or excuse me, read this and listen to it on audiobook that I will be a little bit more fluent in French. So fast forward another, well, no, it's, this is kind of right after the Twilight craze. I ran out of Twilight books, and so I went to um, the library, and I binge read everything I could find um, that, I, that I loved books. So then uh, one night, I woke up in the middle of the night after having a really weird dream about a, uh, a girl, I think she was about 20, 21-ish, uh, who was an Olympic swimmer. And I went downstairs at three in the morning and I started writing and that's where my family found me uh, later that morning and I did not stop writing. This was back before I had a job, um, like a, a day job. I was still a, a mom at that point. I mean, I'm still a mom. You know, you're always a mom, but my kids are all grown up now. Anyway, so back then I, I wrote for two and a half weeks straight. I barely slept. I survived on Diet Coke and whatever people would set next to me on the desk and force me to eat, but I wrote. And at the end of that, I had my very first fiction novel that I published, and it is called The Cove. And I'm very proud of it. I still love it. It's not my favorite book I've ever read, and I'll tell you about that in the next video, what my favorite book that I've ever, excuse me, favorite book I've ever written. <laughs> um, it's, my books are probably the favorite books I've ever read, too, but um, it's not my favorite book that I've ever written, but it is wonderful, and it is available on um, Kindle, Kindle Unlimited. Uh, paperback and audiobook so you can um, listen to or read this however it makes you happy I will read the back copy and then I'm going to end this video and go on to um, some of my other books that are my favorites okay so some accomplishments are easier than others for Olympic swimmer Gail Peterson gold medals came easy finding true love not so easy, especially with three men competing for her attention and temptations leading her further and further from her goal. Choices have consequences, and each choice Gail makes affects all four of them. One choice changes their lives forever and leaves unexpected consequences in its wake. Innocence lost, promises broken, and friendships destroyed. Gail may choose how to live her life, but she can't choose the consequences. So that is the cove. I would love it if you if you have read it. I would love your opinion if if you tell me what what you liked and disliked about it. I would love that. If you haven't read it, let me know that you want to read it, and then and we'll go from there. So anyway, I'll see you on the next video.